Yo, what is up guys? This is Tito back with another video on the Redmi Note 7 Pro today. And in this video, I'm going to be showing you the 24th July 2019 build of the Pixel Experience ROM on this device. And to flash this ROM, you need to keep two things in mind. First of all, you need Peter's TWRP to like flash this ROM. And by the way, I'm encrypted on the Peter's TWRP. So I have to enter the like pin, the screen unlocking pin in the recovery to like get into the recovery. Otherwise, it will show that the storage is encrypted and it can't go in. So that is one thing. And the second thing you have to keep in mind to flash this build particularly and the later builds, I think, is to like you have to flash a firmware to flash these kind of ROMs onwards. And let me just show you the firmware here. As you can see, I'll put this firmware's download link in the description box below. This is the 9718, the MIUI 9718 firmware. And you need this otherwise you will see that uh, like flashing after flashing you will see the error 7 in the recovery so over here we have the firmware itself as you can see the firmware is small it's like 69 or 70 mb and the rom itself over here let me just show you here as you can see 24th july 2019 build and of course 9.0 pi rom this is and let me just go into the settings and show you guys the settings panel over here this is how it looks like i have like the dark theme over here applied and if you go to about phone and android version you will see that the like android version shows as android 9 pi of course let me quickly go back the security patch is latest july 5th 2019 and the stock kernel is pixel plus kernel and here is the build number or the build date if you want to call it that way and of course we do have the like the system updater over here and you can check for updates from here whenever you want so that is one great thing and you have customizations too in this pixel experience ROM of course we have the buttons customization so that the long press for torch does work from the lock screen and wake up device and stuff with the volume keys works and invert layout for this navigation bar is there so my back button is to the right side right now and if you go to status bar we have the disable on lock screen like you can disable the status bar popping up in lock screen and we have the quick pull down as well from right or left so that is one good thing and if you go into the system icons you can check for like headset and stuff so that the headset icon and stuff shows in the status bar whenever you plug it in and if you go into gestures we have this swipe to screenshot so this is just working fine and it does not scroll so that is one great thing let me just quickly go back and if you go into the sound settings let me show you we have the me audio didac and you can like set this preset to youth edition or color edition or whatever me headphones you have and you can even choose like rock jazz whatever preset you want let me just go back you can disable this like fingerprint authentication vibration and charging sound and stuff from here so a lot of sound customizations are there and if you go into battery and battery percentage we have so you can enable it to show the battery percentage on the status bar and by the way i have to say as you can see i've got almost two hours of screen on time and over here i still have almost 89 or 90 percent battery left so to get two hours of screen on time i have just used 10 percent of battery and i can pretty much confirm that pixel experience is the most battery efficient rom out there for the redmi note 7 pro i would say and over here let me just go to the display settings and if you go into advanced we have the full screen apps and stuff notch behavior is there just let it to like default otherwise it looks ugly and double tap to wake to is working fine over here and ambient display is there if you want it double tap to sleep is there so you can just double tap on the status bar to make the display sleep and here is the fingerprint scanner speed as you can see i'm just double tapping to lock and like touching the fingerprint scanner to unlock so the fingerprint scanner speed over here is pretty decent not bad and from device theme you can choose it to be light dark automatic like time of the day or based on wallpaper and let me just put it to light you can even set the dark theme to like the normal totally black or the amulet black kind of look over here and if you go into color theme so you can change the like whole screen color theme or the like accent colors over here let me go back and if you go into security and lock screen preference we do have the automatic face unlock and as this is pixel experience we do not need to flash any kind of separate micro g apps so that's one thing and in the lock screen it does show the temperature and stuff as you can see it shows the temperature right now and the date and the clock there is no android q style clock or something like that because it's straight up pixel experience and over here the stock launcher is still pixel launcher to the left we have the google now cards over here as you can see 
and you can't scroll down of course and there is no double tap to sleep anywhere in the home screen so that's one bummer with the like pixel launcher over here but yeah pretty usable and talking about cameras over here the stock camera over here is a snapdragon camera and i don't really like it so i did install anx camera with triple recovery i just flash the zip so to install anx camera you have to flash the anx camera zip then flash the 48 megapixel fix so you need two zips for flashing the anx camera the normal anx camera zip and the like the 48 megapixel fix zip so just flash those two and you will like get everything working on the anx camera even portrait mode and stuff everything is working so you don't need to worry i'll put the links for this too in the description box below and i have also installed google camera as you can see it works portrait mode and stuff even works over here no issues whatsoever with the google camera as the camera to api is enabled by default over here in this rom and google pay is working right out of the box so you do not need to worry about google pay and if you're going to drm info well let me just show you that the white wine like certificate over here is l1 if you're like unable to see this as you can see the white wine certificate is l1 so you can pretty much get the like level one certificate and stream amazon prime or netflix videos from like from your phone with this custom rom no issues whatsoever in 1080p or like full hd let me just open some of the apps and show you guys the app open up speeds and the ram management over here in this rom let me just open twitter then play store instagram youtube Let me just open all that from memory again. Play Store was having some kind of issues. I think touch issues like over here because I was touching the side panel, not because this ROM has bugs or something like that. There is no bugs at all in this ROM that I could find. And as you can see right now, everything is working fine. Even the RAM management over here, I would say is pretty decent and the apps does open quite fast over here and as you can see all the app stays in memory no issues whatsoever and even the like ram management and the app open up animations are pretty decent and the rom is really fast no issues whatsoever regarding the like any kind of stutters over here at all there is no stutters and here is the end to score of this rom i would say for daily driving this is a pretty decent rom but for playing pubg let me just show you if you want to play pubg that in which settings you can play PUBG on this ROM. So as you can see from the settings, you can play on balanced and ultra, then you can go smooth and ultra too, and you can go HD and high. Of course, there is no HDR option available over here in this like device. And you can go balanced and ultra. So that is a really good thing. And I play mostly on these settings. Let me just like start a match. So as you can see the gaming performance is pretty decent not bad at all in this ROM. And over here it does show the black border while playing PUBG as you can see on the notches side. So that is one bug from MIUI but yeah it, it's not there in MIUI I know but yeah in custom ROMs you do get that black borders. And over here one more thing that I wanted to show you guys that if you want to enable the advanced reboot you have to go to the about phone then tap all the, on the build number 7 times over here I have already done that. And if you do that, go to the system and then go to the developer options and from here enable this advanced restart. And whenever like you enable that, you will get the like advanced reboot whenever you tap restart. And as you can see, you have the reboot to like normal reboot and we have the reboot to recovery and the bootloader or fast boot. So these options are present over here. And if you want to disable heads up, just like disable this pop up notification over here that will disable heads up for you if you don't like it. And nightlight and stuff is present over here so you don't need to worry at all regarding these stuff and if you go to hotspot we do have the like 5 gigahertz hotspot band so no need to worry at all either with that and one thing that i really really like over here in this sum is that like the reboot time just look at this
and by the way i'm not skipping any frames over here or just like cutting in the timeline here as you can see it just re reboots really fast compared to other roms just look at this so it's done so i would say everything over here is pretty decent and if you don't need a lot of customizations you can definitely go with the pixel experience rom that is one recommendation i have for you guys for the redmi note 7 pro and everything like every daily driving things are pretty fine the cameras you can install anx camera to get miui camera you can also get the google camera to like working right out of the box if you install the like google camera apk of course and other performance with like normal day to day usage is pretty decent so thank you so much for watching this video guys give it a thumbs up if you liked it subscribe to the channel down there if you have not yet this is tito from kdn tech signing off for today and i'll be catching you guys in the next one bye bye now